Today we're learning about the Italian artist Giacomo Balla. Giacomo Balla was an artist who worked from about 1900 to 1950 and he tried to show the future. So he was an artist at a time when there were films and aeroplanes and photography was just beginning. So he wanted to show things as he thought they might be in the future. So he practiced something known as futurism. This is one of his paintings. It's called Light in Motion. And you can see how he's used mostly warm colours for this picture. He's used curved lines and straight lines. And he's tried to show lighter reds here when he's gone over the yellow and darker reds when he's gone over the blue. If we just do a bit of a close-up, you can see the lighter reds and the darker reds. And if you think blue and red make purple, so they that sort of works together really well. Take that back down. This is another of his works. This one's called Equilibrium. Equilibrium just means balance. And this piece is very balanced. You can see there's a circle there and a circle there. And um, a curve there and a curve there. It's a very balanced picture and it looks as if light shining out from the middle. And he's done that by putting a lighter shade of the same colour. So he's got blue here and he's made a lighter blue there. He's made a tint of the blue by making it by adding white. And he's done a tint of the green there by adding green. Let's go in closer so we can see it. So this has got curved lines and straight lines and the colours are mostly cold colours. This is another one that I really like. This one's called Futurista. And close up there you can see that he's got red and blue and they make purple. And on this side he's got yellow and blue and they make green. So he's thinking very carefully about the colours that he uses to create this artwork. And this is all straight lines, mostly showing triangles. I think it's a really interesting piece. So we've got red and, red and blue and purple on this side and yellow and blue and green on that side. But this green goes all the way across. This is a different picture. This one's just called Future. And it looks a bit like a light going into the future. This is all cold colours. And it's got curved lines and straight lines. And I think we've looked at all four. So I'm going to, we're going to make our own pictures inspired by Giacomo Balla. And we will try and do two versions. One using straight lines and one using more curved lines like this one. And this one. Okay, so to do the one with straight lines, we'll start by, to get some good straight lines, fold your paper in half that way, and in half that way, and then you've got some straight lines to work with. Take a ruler and a pencil, and you can put a diagonal line that goes from the center of your paper out to the corner because I'm trying to create something that looks like this. I'm trying to create triangular sections. So I'll put another triangular section there. And then I might do a line across to there. And on this side, a line from there to there. Maybe a line that goes to there. Perhaps a, a different one that goes across to there. So I'm sort of joining the lines up that I've made. I'll do something similar on the other side. So to do a line across to the corner and a line across to this corner. And then some lines down and go from there to there. As I'm going to paint inside all these shapes, I don't want them to be too small. I think it needs one more line from there to there. So that's my version with straight lines. 
I'm going to do one using some more curve lines. Thinking about one like this one or this one. So I'm going to start by drawing around some circles. So, so remember, he tried to show equilibrium or balance in his work. So if I do a circle there, I might do a circle at this side. I might do another one here. And another one here. So you can choose whether you want to use curve lines or curve lines and straight lines or just straight lines in your work. So I'm going to do a couple of straight lines going through. And then I'm just going to freehand some curved lines from there into there to there. I hope you can see these and know that I'm doing it with pencil so it's not always either. So I'm just making my picture into different sections so I can add paint to them in different colours. So there you can see I've just created some circles and then just done some curved lines to go with it. So to paint, we're going to use either warm or cool colours on our picture and not mix them up. So we've got these great paints, we've got this set of cool colours and we've got this set of warm colours. So you can choose to use one or the other. And on my straight line one, I'm going to use the warm set. And remember, when you're painting, you always start with the lightest colour first. Because if you put a bit of a light colour into a dark colour, it doesn't matter. But if you put a dark colour into a light, it ruins the colour. So I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'm going to paint all the sections that I want to be yellow at the same time. So I'm going to colour 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. To make sure that I've got plenty of paint on my brush. And I think I'll do that section yellow. That section yellow that section yellow and that section yellow. I'm just doing this to show you, so I'm planning first where the colours are going to go. Then I'll do orange next and plan where my orange is going to go. So I'll do orange there, orange there, orange there and orange there. And then I've got two different reds. I've got a light red and a dark red. So I'll go with the light red there and there and the darker red Mm, there and then I've got the pink left so I'm going to put the pink there there and there okay so I'm going to put you on fast forward now while I paint this so you can see what it will look like So I finished painting my Jacomi Bala cool picture painting that's got curved lines and straight lines in cool colours and this one that's got just straight lines in warm colours. Now you're going to do your own one so if you want to do one using mainly straight lines then remember we started off by folding the paper to give us some straight lines to start with then using a ruler to create diagonal lines and then painted it and when you're painting carefully go round the inside of the shape using a fine brush and then fill in the middle bit with a bigger brush 
and with this one we use the cool colours and the curved lines. So it's your turn to create some amazing Jacomi Bala paintings. I hope you enjoy it.